Why is that proof that God created everything? First of all, that God exists and that then He actually created all of this. Well, it shows you there must be a transcendent beginning, an actual beginning of matter, energy, space, and time. And John, what's exciting, uh, thanks to the work of three theoretical physicists, we have an even more compelling case today. You know, this is what's called the borde vilenkin uh, guth theorem, which shows that if the universe expands on average, it must have a beginning and hence a beginner beyond space and time. There must be an actual beginning of time. That means no matter what you speculate about the universe, as long as it expands on average, you are stuck with this beginner beyond uh, matter, energy, space, and time. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, reading your books about what Albert Einstein cooked up in terms of when he had general relativity, philosophically he realized it was pointing the universe back to a point where it all started, and he didn't like his own conclusion. No, he didn't. Uh, he realized it's pointed to a beginner, and he realized that disturbed the idea that the universe was uh, infinitely old and static, and therefore giving infinite time for evolution to happen without divine intervention. We now know that's wrong, but as says today we have an even more compelling case than what was put forward by uh, Albert Einstein. Give me a couple other proofs that have come in just in the last few years that have constantly refined this and laid it in cement that this is true and these foundational principles are, are the same. Well, one thing we can now do is measure the temperature of the cosmic background radiation, the gas clouds of distant galaxies. And what that shows us is that the universe indeed gets colder and colder as it gets older and older, and therefore the universe is traceable back to the singularity where all the matter and energy, space and time were wrapped up into an infinitesimal volume, that the universe really has cooled down from a near infinitely high temperature. And so as you watch this cooling down, I mean, it really demonstrates that this has got to be a Big Bang creation event. Then we can see the galaxies stretching apart. You know, as you look far away, you notice the galaxies are jammed more tightly together. Today they're spread apart. As you take that back to the beginning, it points you again to a singularity. So we got two easy proofs that any lay person can appreciate that the universe indeed must have this singular beginning of matter, energy, space, and time.